so this will be, yeah, this would be at out the, when it popped. Okay, and then it increases and comes back down. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And if we uncheck that one so we look at the other ones, it's a little messier, but what we see is, uh, let me do them one at a time. We had a pretty good idea. So this is a measure of relative humidity. Okay. So you can see just the, before we launch, there's a fair amount of variation in relative humidity, and then and we launch, it goes down, and, and then it hit pretty much a zero relative okay. humidity when there was probably basically no atmosphere. Okay. So that makes sense. Nothing for it to measure until it starts to come down again. And then it went through some more random okay. this is kinda interesting why it why it would peak up yeah. and then come back down again and up again. I don't know. It could be that we were out of the range of what um, the instrument is designed to measure and so okay. that, that may be just not meaningful. Okay. But I don't know. Um, and then this, I think, is the temperature measured by the relative humidity probe. Okay. And then that's actually, if I uncheck this one, you notice we have different temperatures. Here's another temperature measured. Um, it doesn't say a temperature measured by the by the pressure. I think is what that is. Okay, that one. And then here is another one that just says temperature degree C. It doesn't say how it's measured. Okay. So you notice those are all different. They, they're, they're not in bad agreement when you're on the ground, but up in the flight, they disagree wildly, and that's probably just because you know, some of them are not working very accurately when we get to really the, oh, really? those really extreme you know, low pressures. They're just not designed. You have to have an instrument designed for that environment. Okay. So that's that's my guess. And the last one here is battery voltage. And let's so as the battery got colder, it would your voltage would drop. Well, is that the way it works? I, you know, I don't know. I and let's see. We start at 4.08. It goes to 3.88, yeah. and then it kind of varies a little bit. You know, that's not very much variation, right? Yeah. So it, it yeah. could just be. Um, I would expect if you if you watch this in the lab that it, you would see it just kind of slowly go down okay. as it loses power, yeah. but that maybe during the flight, again the way that the way it's being read, it, maybe it's not accurate at those at, at those altitudes okay. and at those low low pressures. I don't know how the how the voltage is measured. Okay. So it's kind of strange to see it go down and go back up though. So that makes yeah. me a little suspicious that it's not actually really truly accurate. Okay. But you know that, that's really there to, I think, to help you monitor your battery usage. Okay. Cool. Anyway, that's all we got. Are you nice.